Hey, you wonderful people. My name's Clayton, and today we're going to talk about cannabidiol. Most commonly referred to as CBD, cannabidiol was first discovered by Dr. Roger Adams and his team in 1940. CBD was later isolated from the cannabis plant by Dr. Raphael Meculum in 1963. There are over a hundred different phytocannabinoids inside the cannabis plant, with CBD being the second most studied. And one of the coolest things about CBD is that it doesn't give you any kind of a euphoric feeling. Not only does it not get you high, but it can also counter undesirable effects from other cannabinoids, like THC. Our bodies also produce an endocannabinoid called 2-AG, 2-arachidonylglycerol. The similarities between the phytocannabinoid cannabidiol and the endocannabinoid 2-arachidonylglycerol are astounding. They attach themselves to receptors located within our endocannabinoid systems. All mammals have an ECS, and while more research is needed, our ECS looks to be the largest network of receptors in our bodies, and is found in our central nervous, cardiovascular, immune, and lymph systems. Cannabinoid receptors have also been found on bone marrow. Check out my video on your endocannabinoid system to learn more. All throughout our body and brain, we have CB1 and CB2 receptors. CBD attaches itself primarily to our CB2 receptors located mostly throughout our body. This is why CBD is so good at helping with things like pain, inflammation, spasticity, muscle relaxation. It's also been shown to greatly reduce anxiety. Then we get into its anti-cancerous effects. CBD can help with breast, lung, and colon cancers. CBD also possesses anti-tumor properties in gliomas and can be used to treat leukemia. And we produce this molecule inside all of us. CBD can come in many forms, the flower or the oil, the cannabis plant or the hemp plant, and effects from each of them will vary. Always speak to a trusted professional when it comes to your health, because how CBD and how cannabis affects everybody is completely different. Always start at a low dose and work your way up slowly until you reach your desired effect. Cannabis, especially CBD, is something more people need to learn about. Let's teach them together. If you haven't already, check out my video from last week on THC. And if you want some more, check out the original video that got this whole channel started basic cannabis education. Next week, I'm taking a suggestion from a Facebook viewer who wanted to learn about some of the potential negative effects of cannabis. Leave your suggestion of what you want to see in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified every Tuesday when a new video is posted. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.